first time in Chamber Poets, uh, all the way from uh, Coburg, which is uh, which is where I where, where, where I grew up and where I had lots of uh, good and bad times. Uh, please welcome Eamon Campbell June. and send you to read in a particular order too. In nature, though the trees are planted in rows. Autumn evening, in the stream, black power lines. From the eucalypt, breaking in two, bark falls. The cashier's half-smile, muesli bar, box of condoms. Through the line, her earring clicks against the screen. Startled by a falling leaf. From an open door across the road, singing. Turning the knife. They know the shadow. Falling from my chin, hundred black marks of a man. Looking to the southwest, mistaking a cloud for a mountain. Dry wind, the maple lashes out against the eaves. Caught in the tree line, crescent moon. Falling into bed, the dust rises. Running late, the tram breaks down. Running late. Between my head and your shoulder, warm darkness. Waking early, in the silence, tinnitus. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eamon. Beautiful work. Yeah. And, uh, and good to see someone young writing haiku. To keep it all going after we die. Let's have a race. Who wants to die first? <laughs> teacher when I was in grade eight and at the time I was getting horribly bullied and they kind of took me under their wing and amidst other things showed me haiku taught me how to write that was a really big influence in my early life I'd also like to mention um, Farid Uddin Attar who's one of the kind of classic Sufiist poets um, who wrote conference of the birds and I just Sufi writing on love just pleases me greatly um, and recently um, the Tanka writer, uh, Tanka is like haiku, it's 575, but then it has an additional 77, um, and it has a lot more, I guess, love and passion in it, but also it's just a more open form than haiku, generally speaking. Um, and I've been really obsessed with uh, one writer in particular, Akiko Yosano, who is, uh, yeah, an early 20th century um, poet. So this is one of hers, translated by Sam Hamill. You've never explored this tender flesh or known such stormy blood. Do you not grow lonely, friend, forever preaching the way? So I wrote this little pamphlet called Sakura Perfume, which you can grab off me for, I don't know, a gold coin or two, um, that I'm going to be giving to mostly friends, I guess. Um, 
And yeah, I'll read some of them. A friend saves for rhinoplasty. All I have, Sakura perfume. Focused on a podcast, I walked into a rose bush. Faint smell of piss, naked beneath blossom gown. Pavement finches, picking at colours of smashed macarons. Sweet scent of jelly and bubbles in plastic, the ancient tradition of tea. Careless eating, a white bow, pink lipstick. A white bow. It's a um, it's a Chinese bun. Um, yeah, bow. Mm. Um, wet hair, a drop falls on the paper. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leah Dewey Morgan. So, uh, uh, quite a few of the poets came up uh, by train today. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, five people, five, six, seven? Seven. So, yeah, you know, if you go all go back uh, to Melbourne together, it'll be like a haiku train. <laughs>